Hey guys, Kevin here from lp24audio.com. Guess what? Going to show you how to make awesome plucks today in Serum. There are many ways we can go about making a pluck, but I want to show you a few of the techniques I've learned after using Serum for the last year or so. So let's get started. Uh, one thing to consider is that envelope one is your main amplitude envelope and that can be good to use for a pluck shape but there are some downsides to this let me explain first let's have a listen though okay it's not a bad sound definitely is in that pluck percussive category of synth but there's some other ways, like using an LFO on the volume. We're going to try that one and compare it to what we just heard. So let's try that. Put it on envelope mode so it re-triggers every time you play a note. Turn it all the way down to all the way up full modulation and let's hear the difference. That's a different sound altogether than this. I'll temporarily bypass that actually. Right click and do a bypass. Uh, that compared to this. Okay, let's change this. Okay, you might have noticed a difference. To me, it's not that subtle. In fact, um, Game changer once I figured that out. Okay, now using both in combination could be even more effective. Let's try that. We're still bypassing it. There we go. So it's quite percussive. Uh, that's a good start. Now let's make it more of a super saw kind of style. In a wide. Um, I'd like to mono that out so our unison width, that's panning width. We're going to bring that down. A little more centered. Okay, now another technique to get a little bit more of that intensity at the beginning of the pluck because that's all the rage nowadays is using our compressor. Traditionally, you could use a compressor to enhance the attack by doing a longer attack time you give the sound time to uh, develop before it compresses it therefore it accentuates the dynamic range or the intensity so let's have a listen to that maybe do some makeup gain okay now it hasn't recovered fast enough. Let's try bringing our release down. Okay, this has advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages is it will kind of even the dynamics out, but the disadvantage, you might have heard it, is that it doesn't release fast enough, even at 0.1 milliseconds. Well, that's pretty good, actually. Where was I before? About 10 milliseconds and you can hear it slightly struggling to stay afloat, but bring that down. It's quite plucky. Turn it off, let's hear. Okay, it exaggerates the attack. Another method involves an EQ. I love this technique of taking an envelope, or preferably, in my case, I prefer the LFOs, and put it onto the gain of say a high shelf or a bell and you're going to exaggerate the gain at that moment. Let's do option shift and click so it's unipolar. Okay, you can hear that extreme accentuation on the high frequencies, anything above say 600 hertz uh, in this case. Okay, we've gone quite far into the red 
That's how aggressive our pluck's getting. Okay, of course you can try multiband mode as well. Let me turn this off momentarily. And multiband mode. I need to turn everything back up again. Okay, now usually we'd say, okay, multiband mode seems to bring out, accentuate the mid range and high frequencies. Um, in certain instances it also well let's just say its main job also is to bring up in volume the quiet aspects of your sound so this may or may not be effective for your pluck depending on what you're trying to get out of it hear the aggressiveness there especially on the attack as well um, but then you just have to finally dial in your envelope so as to not last very long or else that low volume part will be accentuated in multiband mode. Together, okay, it's pretty much a percussive snap. Uh, this could be good for kick drum sound design and stuff like that, using these in combination. Of course not with a sawtooth wave, but as our previous video showed with a sine wave. Uh, a couple other techniques I can show you quickly. One is if you get this right, it can be very effective. Uh, there are ways to use these warp modes to accentuate the attack, but the theory is going to be about the same. You take a envelope and uh, or envelope or one of these LFOs, you apply it to something like say uh, sync. Okay, so let's grab this, plop it on sync. Okay, in fact, we're so plucky right now, if I can use that as a word, that I need to turn some of this off. Or, let's say, do a little less. Okay, so listen with and without. Now, of course, the timbre is changing, but it's also adding an aggressiveness to the front, which could be a useful advantage for your track depending um, what you're trying to do with this sound that you're making. Let's try one last thing and that would be an LFO or envelope again onto the course pitch. Option shift and click and you go into unipolar mode. Okay this envelope is a little too long for that uh, to occur so we could actually shorten the uh, main amplitude envelope so you don't hear that whole curve here. The other thing is check on uh, obviously on the course pitch you could be going quite far off pitch but even just a little bit will add a nice attack to it. I see a lot of producers doing that lately. Let's speed up this envelope now. So see, even in a subtle amount, accentuates the attack. So I hope that gives you a few ideas of ways to get better uh, use out of your pluck sound, or at least more dimension into the attack portion. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, and check out our website, lp24audio.com.